everyone. We're back to working on the G8 rally car today. Uh, we're going to be installing a new set of rotors and pads. Um, the ones we're going to be installing today are a set of R1 concepts, brake pads, and rotors. Uh, Christian already installed the rotors on, so I'm going to be installing the pads today and bleeding the brakes. A uh, huge thank you to R1 Concepts for supporting this build as well. Now that we got the pads installed, we're going to start by checking the blue level for the brake reservoir and then we're going to start bleeding them. So we ran into a bit of a problem while bleeding the brakes. We noticed that there was some fluid leaking out of one of the areas on the brakes. So what we did was we traced it back to this banjo bolt right here. And what happened was the crush washer was actually kind of, well, it's not doing its job. So pretty much we just had to get a new pack of crush washers at AutoZone and let's see if this thing will work. You guys also may have noticed that we've got a new set of wheels on the car. They're an old set of Ray's rally wheels that were originally gold, but we had Daniel from Bumper Master repaint them this nice white for us. It makes the car look a lot better with these wheels on it. So the plan here is to get the rectangular flat bar and then just kind of drill the holes where the seat holes are. And then we should be able to either make a rectangular base so that it connects these two like that, or just two separate rails. We'll just have to, we'll just have to see about that. But yeah, I'm just gonna start drilling holes and then um, see where we're at from there. got the seat base kind of tacked up and just in the car right now 
I'm just gonna be using a block of wood just so I can like get it level to the car. Uh, I'm just gonna be putting the seat in and then adjusting it from there so I can see where to put my mounts. So one mount here and then the other mounts like right here for the front. I'm probably gonna start doing the front first and then moving on to the rear, which should be here and then right there. So I just got the seat in and mocked up. Now I can kind of determine where I can put the tabs in order to bolt the, uh, the rails down. And we'll have to see from there. Just finished up the the base real quick. Um, then I kind of bent the ends of it, so that way it kind of mimics what the angle of the bracket is going to be like. So I'm just going to try to bend it a bit more, and then just kind of see where um, where it can be. And then I'll have to make a bracket for that then. So just got the left side of the mount all done. There it is, it's welded. And then you got the mount right here. So yeah, just, we gotta do this, but on that side now. Front's all done, front fully welded, and on this side too, fully welded. So once, since those are done, I'm gonna put the seat back on the rails, uh, measured up again, then I'm gonna start working on the backs. Alright guys, so I just finished up the seat base. Yesterday I got the two fronts and then that one rear in. But today I was working on this uh, fourth mount, which mounts like the transmission tunnel. Uh, the welds are yeah, alright, but we'll definitely do. So there it is, kind of comes in at an angle like that, looks like a number seven. Got this back one here. And then the two fronts. So I'm just gonna try and mock this up and install in the car, and hopefully it'll all go well.
Alrighty guys, just threw the seat in. A bit of a hassle, but definitely all worth it though. Uh, it feels very planted in here. Uh, pretty, pretty good. Also the uh, pedal uh, distance from my feet is good as well. And I can see just over the hood, just fine. So only thing that's left to really do is to throw in the dash and then we can try driving it. All right guys, so we just got the car started and we're gonna try to back it out of the shop and just try, try driving it for a little bit. Wow guys, I can't actually believe it. This thing hasn't r been running and driving since 2009. And surprisingly, it went pretty well. It drives just like our other GCs that we have around the shop here. And man, I'm so excited. I hope Bristol and Scott will be very happy with the fact that the car now runs and drives. Um, next kind of plan is to probably um, do, redo the suspension since we already did the brakes. And then probably get Paolo over here to do some rally cross laps or something like that. But yeah, I'm really excited that the fact that this thing actually runs and drives now. Um, so now we're at the point we can like back and forth in the shop and just kind of drive it around and just uh, make sure everything's all good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is kind of like the first kind of part of the GC8 rally car project series. Um, after that, we're going to be doing a bit more of this car and stay tuned for that.